and uh, for this video the prince by niccolo machiavelli um it's a very interesting book because it addresses strategy political strategy from a european perspective um, a lot of people identify this book with italian politics but it's wrong we need to remember that at the time italy wasn't a country uh, there were a lot of kingdoms and city states so to speak that were struggling for power and uh, there were interferences from the kingdoms of uh, the Spanish Peninsula at the, po at the at the time, I guess Naples was under the control of Aragon. Uh, France was also trying to get some possessions uh, in Italian uh, land. Um, and we also have, I guess, some other uh, external kingdoms. But the, the comments that Machiavelli uh, does uh, are actually very general. The, he's mentioning all the time uh, Swiss um, tactics, German uh, German soldiers. Um, he's talking about the formations that the, the Italian formations is not as good are not as good as the, the Spanish ones. Um, that the French are more organized. So he's talking about European politics. He's a European a politician. Everything he's explaining is not from an Italian perspective. It's more European. So it's actually very good material um, to understand the mindset and how politics, politics were um, conducted in those times. So Machiavelli, we need to remember that um, despite his success, as a writer, he had some um, some problems, so to speak. Um, he was uh, overpowered by his political enemies in the end. So it doesn't really mean that uh, his enemies were smarter than him or anything like that. But for sure, he wasn't able to apply uh, all the principles that he explained in his books uh, to uh, his life. He didn't reach any position of power, like he wasn't um, he was an advisor, of course, but he wasn't. Uh, he didn't reach uh, to be the, the the ruler of some city or even some village, some part of the country. He was basically advising uh, important people, and uh, despite the historical interest of the book, we need to remember that Machiavelli is not. Uh, the, the god of, um, of strategy or anything like that. So uh, whenever uh, somebody applies the adjective uh, Machiavellian or Machiavellic, uh, it's, uh, it's good to remember that um, the, the book is interesting. He's not an evil, uh, it's not an evil text uh, telling you to stab everyone on the back uh, as, as, as the general knowledge would have you believe. Um, it's more about like there are parts in the book where the guy recommends you to um, be a good ruler, to keep the citizens happy, to keep the important people happy, to avoid any ploys against you, to avoid any revolts against you, to keep the church happy, everybody happy. So it's not as much about cloak and dagger backstabbing all the time as it is about using strategy to keep people happy as much as you can uh, so that to avoid future problems. And uh, from that perspective, the book is, uh, is worth reading because everyone is surprised how the image they had of Machiavelli uh, doesn't correspond with um, the real historical figure that wasn't as omnipotent as we would think. Like um, if, if you ask anyone, they would probably tell you, oh, if Machiavelli was involved in some, uh, in some political thing, he would probably be the winner. And the other guys like, mm, well, yeah, he, he was like that most of the times. But it's good to remember that in the end, his enemies uh, found out uh, many of the things he did against them and they ended him. Uh, he, he was making a lot of enemies along the way. So, yeah, uh, enjoy this book and keep it inside a historical context. Um, and uh, it's a very good reading. I recommend it totally.